just criticizing Joe Biden, saying he didn't mention the far left or Antifa. It was a supporter of yours, Mr. President, who killed someone. So was accused of killing Excuse two me. people. It's not a supporter of yours. Are you no. going to condemn the actions of vigilantes like Kyle Rittenhouse? And well, we're, we're looking at all of it. Uh, that was an interesting situation. You saw the same tape as I saw. And uh, he was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell. And then they very violently attacked him. And it was something that we're looking at right now, and it's under investigation. But uh, I guess he was in very big trouble. He would have been, I, he probably would have been killed, but it's under, it's under investigation. Do you think private citizens should be taking guns? I'd like to see law enforcement take care of everything. I think everything should be taken care of, law enforcement. But again, we have to give our cops back, our police back their dignity. The respect, they're very talented people, they're strong, they're tough, they can do the job, but we've taken it away. I honor law enforcement. We wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for law enforcement. We have to stop this horrible left-wing ideology that seems to be permeating our country. Are you not meeting with the family of Jacob Blake while you're there? Well, I spoke with the pastor, wonderful man, the family's pastor, and uh, I thought it would be better not to do anything where there are lawyers involved. Uh, they wanted me to speak, but they wanted to have lawyers involved, and I thought that was inappropriate, so I didn't do that. But I did speak with the pastor of the family, who's a fine man, a wonderful man, and uh, I think we had a great talk. And uh, I may at some point you know, do that. But they they did have a lawyer that wanted to be on the phone, and I said, no, that's inappropriate, but I just gave my best regards. Uh, but again, I spoke with the pastor. First of all, I'm not going to play politics. This is my son's life we're talking about. Second of all, we don't have a family pastor. And Benjamin Crump represents my family. While they're concentrating on their son's life, they want us to concentrate on the fight for justice. When I represented Trayvon Martin's family and President Obama had the call with them, the problem with the family's attorneys being on the phone, we were not saying anything. Your clients want to have assurance that their lawyers are helping guide them through this very difficult process. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I'd like to finish my question, if you could come back, please, since you did not let me finish my question, Mr. President. 